Hello YouTube makeup lovers. So I'm here with a very different video for you guys. It is a shoe haul. I have never done a video like this before and I think it's because I have never shopped for so many shoes in such a small period of time, in a very short period of time. I think in the span of about two days, I bought 16 pairs of shoes. I am gonna return some, but I just wanted to share them all with you. There was a huge sale on Macy's this past weekend. The first day, it was buy one, get one free. So I ended up getting six during that sale and the regular price shoes, well, no. The one that wasn't free was already at a discount and then the second one was obviously even better because it was free. I ended up getting six in that sale and then the next day I woke up and I was like, let's see what sale they have now and all these shoes were at about $30. Shoes that were about usually between $90 and $110 were for sale at $31. 32 and 33 dollars so i ended up buying 10 pairs of shoes then and this is all online on macy's.com so i knew that a lot of the shoes probably would not fit or maybe i wouldn't like them because when you shop online sometimes you run the risk of you know them not fitting right or maybe they just don't look as you thought they would look so pretty much that's what i did i just went nuts buying all the shoes in addition to those sales i was able to put another coupon code so the first day i got an additional like 25% off. So it was just crazy, crazy shoe sale. And I hadn't bought so many shoes in such a long time. Um, I don't think I had even gone shoe shopping at all in maybe a couple years. Um, the first one I'm gonna show you, I'm actually gonna show you 18 pairs of shoes. 16 are right here in their boxes from the Macy's sale. And two, I had already bought when I went to Las Vegas. So I figured I would show you those as well. Those I also got on sale. Um, they were like at the Steve Madden store and they were already like in clearance So I ended up buying two pairs of shoes and that's kind of how the madness started because one of those shoes I loved I tried them. I used them one night They're very comfortable and I wanted to go online and buy the same black shoes in nude And that's how I discovered the sale and that is what led to this So we better get started because I have a ton of shoes to share with you. I'm also gonna be trying them on, so every time I show you a shoe, I'll see how I do that I'll just insert me wearing the shoes in another shot, or maybe I'll put like a little screen somewhere so you guys can see me with the shoes on. So the three brands of shoes I bought are Steve Madden, Nine West, and Jessica Simpson. Those are brands that I have used in the past before, and I know that I like them, they're comfortable, and I mean, they just work well with me. So pretty much everything you will see here are from those three brands. I got a lot of shoes for the office because those are some shoes that I wear every single day. So I did get a lot of those. And um, well, I guess instead of just talking about them, I'll just show you so you see exactly what I bought. First I'm gonna start off with the two that I bought in Las Vegas. And these are the first ones. These are called the Calvin. That's what it says in here. I don't have the box of these anymore because since I bought them in Vegas, I didn't want to travel with a box. But this is what they look like. They kind of feel like a suede material, but they're not, but it just looks different. It's not just like regular leather. I love these because they have a chunky heel. I don't have anything like this. They have the peep toe. I feel like these will look really great with jeans or even with some leggings and I just, I don't know, I just thought that these were really cool and I don't have anything like this. You will see that I have a ton of shoes that I think all the shoes I bought were either nude or black. There's one pair of blue shoes, but they didn't really fit that much. So I'm gonna have a lot of new black and new shoes. Next, I got these also from Steve Madden. These are definitely heels to go out. These are the ones that I got in Las Vegas and once I try these on, I wore these out to my sister's birthday. I was like, I need these in nude. They're patent leather, they have a platform, they have a big heel, and this is what this shoe looks like. These are pretty much imitations to the tribute shoes from YSL, and I've always loved those shoes, but they're like a gazillion dollars. So um, this is a great option. I love Steve Madden. You can kind of have the whole tribute experience without having to spend the money. And these, oh by the way, those, the ones I just showed you in these were about 50 bucks in the clearance sale at Steve Madden. I know that these were originally 109. Okay, so the next I have a pair of Nine West shoes. And these are some pointy pumps. 
These I had actually got for work. They kind of have a bow right here. It's called like the really cool pump or something like that is what I saw online. Now all these shoes that are coming up, I got on sale for about $30 to $33 around there, including the extra 25% off. So I got a really good deal. Um, but these are just like pointy pumps with a bow. These I actually didn't like that much how they looked on my feet. So these are going back. So you'll be seeing, I'll be telling you guys which ones I really liked that are keepers and which ones I didn't like or maybe weren't comfortable that I'm returning. So these nine West ones are going back. I have some Jessica Simpsons and these, the box was disheveled, um, very disheveled, but I loved the shoe. These are some wedges. I thought that these were so beautiful, you know, to wear during the day. They would be so cute with some jeans. Um, I just love them. What are these called? These are nude. These are called the Belvin T-Strap. Is that what it's called? Here it says, yeah, the Bevin, B-E-V-I-N, in the color buff. From Jessica so Simpson, here are another pair of wedges. These are called the Jamie Lee, and these are black. These, um, they looked really pretty online, but when I see them here, the leather just kind of looks kind of cheap. I really didn't like the way that it looked. They just don't look like they're great quality, I guess. I just felt that they looked cheap. And when I wore them, um, it seemed like kind of big on me. Like the strap just seemed like it was kind of loose. It just really didn't look good. Honestly, the leather is what I think just looks kind of cheap. The next two pairs of shoes are perfect for work. They're just perfect, beautiful, classic pumps. They are patent leather and they're from Jessica Simpson. I ended up getting them in both colors, in black and in nude, and they look like this. They're called the Malia, I think I said, and um, it's got a pretty nice size heel, but not ridiculously tall. I tried these on and they seem very, very comfortable. So this is what they look like, and let me show you the nude ones as well. So these I got in two colors, and these are just perfect for me. For work I mean you can never have enough black and nude shoes and it's kind of like a little rounded front but they're just classic pumps and I love patent leather I actually prefer patent leather than regular leather I just think it just makes a shoe look so beautiful but really really loving these from nine west these are called the cutie pie and these are pizza pumps and these I absolutely loved as well um, again, I bought the black and the nude because I thought that they'd be perfect for work. The black ones are regular leather. And this is how they are. See, these are the black ones. Peep toe, just basic peep toe pumps. But, you know, they're just, this is perfect for wearing to work on a daily basis. I like it because the heel is tall but it's not ridiculously huge. It's not like a five inch heel. And then it also has a little um, platform in the front. So it really doesn't seem all that big. So the blacks are regular leather and the nude ones are patent leather. So this is what the nude ones look like. Could not believe that I got such, these are just classic basic shoes that never go out of style. I mean, that's pretty much what I went for. I just wanted something that I could use that wouldn't go out of style and that would pretty much match with everything, which is why I pretty much went with black and nude. I mean, you cannot go wrong with neutral shoes and these are just classic type of pump. From Nine West, I got these sandals um, and when I tried these on, they fit good, but I just did not like them at all. These are called the, these are called the Emberly from Nine West and they look like this. It kind of has a little bit of a little tassel here. It has like this gold detail. But what I hated the most was the way the front was. This started really back in my foot and I didn't like it. Like I guess I just didn't like the way my feet looked in the shoe. So these are definitely going back. I really did not like these at all. Feet Madden, I got a pair of boots. And these are called the Cherry Boot and they're taupe suede. And these I really loved, but these didn't fit me. So I actually 
actually ordered them a half a size bigger again because these boots are over a hundred dollars and I was able to get them for like 33 bucks so um, this is what they look like so I thought that these would be so cute to wear with my leggings um, and you can even put the legging inside but these were really really tight but they're really nice I like that even though it you know it has the laces it actually has a zipper and this is how you can actually put the shoe on but it was just like hard to even get the shoe on um, I had to untie the laces and then I finally got my foot in it but it just seems so tight and this kind of hurt me at the front of my feet so I'm hoping half a size is bigger would fit better. I already ordered it on my West again. These are the rollover. And these are pointed um, pumps with a sling back. And this is what they look like. They're just like a pointed shoe. And I liked it because the heel wasn't that tall. I thought it'd be really beautiful for work. But this little sling back here really bugged me and my feet. So I knew that if it bugged me just from trying them on around the house and walking around, that if I wore them a whole day at the office that they would be pretty painful. So I'm gonna return these and these fit perfect. I thought they were really pretty, but this little sling back thing, you know, it has like a little elastic inside and it opens and closes. And I guess just like if I put my finger in between where the opening is, it kind of pinches my finger. So you can imagine how it's gonna pinch my, my foot. So definitely going back. I mean, those are the risks of shopping online that some things won't fit but um i feel like you get a bigger discount online because you have those extra coupon codes that you can use online um that you can't use at the store i mean at the store you do have the physical coupons but online you can either use them online or you can use whatever offer they have i know this week they had one that you put the code focus and then you got an additional percentage off. also got the steve madden the tribute looking shoes in navy blue by the way did i say what these were called these are called the kananda so in case you want to look for those they're called the kananda online and these are the navy blue ones they're navy blue patent leather but i feel like you can't even tell that they're navy blue i mean here i can see the difference but they kind of look just like my black ones so even though they were inexpensive and these were actually from the first sale that I got, the one that was buy one, get one free. And when I bought those, actually these were about $60 and then I got another one free. So um, if I were to split it between two shoes, it'd be like 30 bucks a shoe. But I'm gonna return these and get my 60 bucks back because the ones that I got for free were the ones that I just showed you, the pointy nude ones. So I'm just gonna return these and the nude ones and just get my money back. Because I feel like it's not worth it. I bought them in black, I bought them in nude. I really don't need them in blue. This is what they look like in the nude. Aren't they so beautiful? I just think this is the most precious nude color. It's called Blush from Steve Madden. The blush color for Steve Madden is just a beautiful nude. I actually like the way this nude looks more than the Jessica Simpson nude, but it's just such a pretty color and I just had to have these. I think these are beautiful shoes for going out. And um, nude and black, you can definitely get a lot of use out of. I thought that those are just the two best colors to get. So if you ever buy shoes, especially really expensive shoes, like if you go out and you buy high-end shoes that cost a fortune, I would always get a high-end shoe. I mean, unless you can get like a gazillion of them. Um, I would usually buy those in neutral colors, like a black or a nude, because then you know you'll always wear them. If I were to spend a lot of money, and like super expensive high brand shoes i don't think i would get something that's like super colorful because then they might go out of style and then you're stuck with like a 900 dollars shoe that you probably won't be wearing all the time whereas nudes they last all the time blacks they last all the time also from steve madden and these i loved but they hurt so much these are the blue shoes that i got first of all i love these blue these are called the stacy kind of like stacy but with an e instead of an a so this is what these look like. They have the ankle strap and they have a little strap here. I thought this blue was just precious and beautiful. I think that these are also, my friend had told me that these were also YSL imitations. I have never seen the YSL ones in these, but um, the ankle strap is pretty painful. It hurt, it was tight. This strap here looked gorgeous. It just looked, your feet just look so nice, like ready for a night out, really, really elegant. But man, these hurt. 
these hurt so much and I am totally into comfort. Before I would suffer through the shoe, but now no way. There is no worse pain than having the pain of painful shoes and getting blisters on your feet. It is just so painful and that is just something that I just don't deal with anymore. So these are beautiful, but they hurt. So they're definitely gonna go back. These next two are from Nine West and they are called the Cruzetto with a Z. Like and this. They have um, an ankle strap. It's kind of a mixture. The heel is patent leather. The front is regular leather and it has this little thing here in the middle that is also patent leather. And then it has a little detail here that is suede. So these are really, really light. And I ended up getting these in black as well. I mean, Nine West shoes for 30 bucks. Nine West shoes usually cost like $100. So, or like 90 bucks and these were just amazing so really excited about these and when i tried them on they seemed so comfortable so definitely think this is something i could wear to work um so these are the nude ones and let me show you the black ones so this is what they look like the black ones have the same idea the heel here is patent leather you know and here it's all leather and then it has the suede little detail right over here this is all suede I think these are so pretty and like I said these are very very comfortable and last but not least I got these Galasino shoes from Nine West that's the name of the model Galasino and they're in the shade taupe suede the color taupe and this is what they look like they're not very tall it's another chunky heel but it's not that tall which I like and they have one strap in the front and then I just thought that this looked very very cool this strap right here I just really liked it I can't wait to wear these I have to see what I can wear these with but you can wear these with a skirt with a dress with leggings with whatever you want I mean jeans I feel like jeans would cover this pretty detail but this is definitely something that I want to show so I'd probably wear it with like leggings or something where I'm not wearing pants or something I don't know they were just very very cool and just extremely different these are keepers I tried them on and they were very comfortable so I'm um, very excited about these so that is pretty much it I really hope that you guys enjoyed my shoe haul and I hope that if you like these shoes you get a chance to find them online on the Macy's website or anywhere on the internet. I will try to put as much information on the shoe as I can in the description box down below. If you like videos like this, please let me know. Although I do not think I'll be doing another shoe haul like this for a very long time, but maybe I could do my shoe collection or something like that if you wanna see more videos about shoes. So I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you do, please like it and give it a thumbs up. And of course, subscribe to my channel. And as always, I just want to say thank you so much for watching Be Lounge Makeup. Bye!